What's going on, everybody? So there's a big video going around, and, I, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it, and it's from a gentleman named Jesse Cortez. Uh, he's actually here today, before we get into the video, to speak with you guys. Um, I, I know Rogue did something on it recently. His videos went pretty viral for his platform, and it's it's really been taking off, and it's been taking off for, for several different reasons. This guy's an absolute beast. He refuses to ID. He refuses to give his information, but... There's a little bit of background to this, which would make Jesse an unsuspecting target um, from who we normally see as harassed by police. So welcome everyone who's here. Really appreciate you being here. Uh, and before we get into the video, I'd like you guys to, to meet Jesse. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing, man? Thank you for having me. Absolutely. My pleasure. So I saw this video. Now, this happened on September 29th and 22, around what time? Like 1 p.m.? Uh, about 12 p.m. Okay, so so kind of walk us through, you know, who you are as a person. I always like people to explain, you know, what they do for work, who they are as a person, so they can kind of understand you better. Okay, so I'm a dog trainer by uh, a living. Um, I had just got out of my appointment, and I started driving, and I saw this park that I passed, and I decided to stop by and see what it was about. Now, you say you're, you're um, a dog trainer, like... You know what I mean? Like pe you train people's dogs to go to the bathroom inside the house. Like what kind of dog trainer are you? So I do uh, all aspects of dog training from basic obedience, from day-to-day uh, -day dog owners. I do a lot of police dogs. I've volunteered my time with police before. I've trained their canine. I'm usually the guy that gets bit by the dogs. Yeah, so, and there's a reason I wanted to kind of bring that up um, because Jesse doesn't just train animals for a living or train dogs. He, he trains police dogs. He'll train dogs that'll go to military, dogs that are trained in drug detection, dogs that are trained in search and rescue. Uh, and, and he's done a lot of good work. So, and, and we tend to see this, you know, someone who has worked, um, you know, training dogs for the police. Like, I just want people to understand that there is no blue line of protection. Certainly Jesse was a victim of, of these police officers. And I actually have a quick clip if it's all right with you, Jesse, if yes, sir. real quick, just to show some of the, the training that you did. Let me, let me pull this up in the big screen so everyone can see. Uh, and then we're going to get right into the video. This is, um, it, it's a pretty big deal. The video itself, Jesse's an absolute boss. If my moderators can put the link in his chat, uh, in the chat, I'd really appreciate it. Let's take a look at one of Jesse's video and the work he's done. So, you know, he's had fair con a fair amount of contact with police, and now he's going through an issue where he's dealing with the cops. So you're at a public place, um, and the police feel what? That you're suspicious. Yes, sir. So I was at this uh, park. Again, it has buildings. It has, like, Christmas lights. It's um, If you look at the Google reviews, it people often say it's a great park for you to come and hang out and have lunch at. Um, you know, I went there and I saw that there was a, a unmarked vehicle following me, which was a Ford. Um, I forgot the brand of the, the vehicle, but it was following me again. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm getting ready to leave the park. I was getting ready to already exit as he got in front of me and turned blue lights on. So he pulls you over and, and you know, you're not a suspicious kind of guy. You know, you, you drive a a Jeep Patriot, which is not like your normal default car for suspicious activity. Why do you think the, the cops kind of zeroed in on you? Um, you know, I'm not the kind of person who likes to use the race car, but I definitely feel like he was racial profiling me. Not only that, because the moment that the, he found my gun, I wanted to say, hey, I'm not worried. I'm clean. And he goes, he smirks and he goes, we'll see about that. So when, when the police approach you, like, 
you know, normally you have interactions with police. And one of the pictures we showed was of canine Odin. And a lot of this stuff is praise from different police departments, sheriff's departments that you've worked with, thanking you for the great dogs that they get highly trained. So normally your interactions with police are, are, are courteous um, because of the level of professionalism that you share. But now you see that you're not sure why, but all of a sudden you feel that they feel you're suspicious and you see the gun. And what are the thoughts going through through your head now as you see things are kind of taking a turn? Uh, at that moment, when they found my gun again, I'm like, all right, they're going to, you know, I have every right to have a gun. My whole life, I have went without being in trouble with the police. They pulled up my record. I've never had an issue with them. Um, you know, the last time I, I was in trouble with the cops, I was like 16 for graffiti. And after that, I haven't been in trouble. So I take pride in the rights that I, you know, tried so hard to protect and have. So for them to just pull me out of my vehicle, you know, run my gun, unload my gun, run my name. Like, I mean, golly, that's what a felon feels like. It's a horrible feeling. Now, there's a point in the video where, you know, and this is what's important for people to know. <clears throat> you know, some people think of activists or auditors as these like anti-police people. Jesse is someone that like works with police for a living by providing training to police dogs that enter into the community. Uh, he's he's certainly not um, someone that would be adverse to them. But I wanted to show you that in the court of public opinion is different than the court of the, the legal court. It's different from the police system because they had a preconceived notion of who Jesse was, what he was doing, why he shouldn't be there, why he shouldn't be armed. And at one point in the video, um, you know, you, you kind of say that you're standing on your rights and they're like, man, fuck your rights. They could care less because you should just bow down. Jesse's just a normal guy. He doesn't get in trouble. He's got a great business. He's got 7,000 followers on his Facebook page. And they were just so surprised that he didn't just bend over. So this is an issue where not just people in activism are affected. This is an issue where people kind of everywhere are affected. We're going to get into the video, but as of right now, tell us the disposition of your case. How did it wind up in court? So I went to court and again, you know, um, I stand on my, I stood on my rights and I'll be honest with you guys. I want to thank every audit channel because they don't teach us our rights in school. You know what I mean? They teach us some, but to I, for me to be able to tell them, like, I didn't do anything wrong. Why do I have to ID me? I learned that from audit. So I went to court. I, you know, I shared my case of what happened. And the judge said, so all this could have been avoided if you would have ID'd yourself. And the officer said, yes. And she says, I find you guilty. Wait, hold on. So, so a judge in a court of law where you, where the state has the burden of proof, it is not about fact, it is not about the circumstances of the case, the likelihood of a conviction. He says, oh, this guy, if he gave you an ID, then I wouldn't be having this headache right now, and then they find you guilty. Yes, sir. So yes, as sir. of right now, um, and today is Saturday, I spoke to Jesse earlier, um, and I didn't realize I wouldn't be able to get anyone on the phone. So as of Monday, I'm gonna be on the phone for a couple hours. And uh, we're going to find a lawyer to appeal this. Now, the unjustice system is exactly that. It's unjust. So if Jesse appeals his case, there's a 90% chance, if not more, that his appeal will go into the same judge that just shot him down, which is not a bad thing necessarily because it gets it out of district court and up to the superior and Supreme Court level where judges will take a much harder look at this and Jesse's rights will matter. So I know that you plan on appealing. Do you plan on moving forward civilly against the Morrow Police Department? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the thing is, I believe we don't hold people accountable. They'll do it again. You know, I've had multiple people go, just pay it. You know, it is what it is. But what happens if I decide to go to another park and they, I look suspicious? When does the looking suspicious stop? You know, so I got to pay another five seventy five when I want to go to a public park that me as a taxpayer paid for. So this is why I want to go ahead and go as far as far as I can with this. So, guys, <clears throat> post it in the uh, people are posting in the chats. I think mine's pinned. I'll just replace it. Um, but if people want to help him out, five seventy five. Um, for, for what he's put out so far, that money will go to replenishing him to hire a t an attorney moving forward. And I'm going to send a cash app as well as soon as this episode is done. 
Um, so I, I just wanted everyone to see who he was and to see who he is because not all of everyone is not, not like everyone turned the tide once. Like there's always that story for everyone where they became activists or even if they didn't become activists, they at least realized that maybe something was wrong with the system. The Morrow Police Department in Morrow, Georgia, have actually gone to the extent of victimizing Jesse in their comment section, where they're putting up certain comments and they're isolating uh, him. And, and you know, they're just kind of, they haven't had enough yet. Here's one comment um, where they say, uh, he also had the option of binding it over to a jury trial, which he waived, and the ability to have an attorney represent him, which he declined, if not mistaken. He drove past signs saying no trespassing violators would be prosecuted. The area at the time had no open businesses. An arson had just occurred and buildings were still under construction. It wasn't open to the public, even though it was city owned. Uh, and then they go on to talk about how he looked suspicious because of the, so because there was a crime that had been committed there in the past, uh, because he showed up to a public park naturally he'd be suspicious and you see the Morrow police department specifically redressing jesse uh, which is absolutely and totally unacceptable for them to be addressing someone whom they're investigating or someone who's currently in the legal system you know that that's tainting that's tainting enough for a jury pool because the problem is jesse's being tried in front of a jury of his peers and for those of you who think that justice is blind and you walk into a courtroom and you have the presumption of innocence you're dead fucking wrong because 90 percent right. of the people 90 percent of the people watching you and that are on that jury they think to themselves the police wouldn't have arrested him if he hadn't done something wrong and i guarantee you jesse how many times during that trial when you walked in did the jury just scowl at you like you were some type of of sideshow well you know and you're right about that while i was sitting there the officer that i was going against went and talked to you know the whoever's on the stand like four or five times and they're looking at me and the whole time i'm just sitting there and that's you're right that's when it hit me i'm like well how how am i supposed to beat the system when they're buddies you know if they're friends and i often see auditors and i'm like well that auditor was a little aggressive that probably couldn't have happened but i don't believe that i was aggressive i was i was definitely showing some frustration again i'm a person who just got out of a job want to look at the part and i'm being harassed so it's like Damn if you do, damn if you don't. A couple people have said they've donated already, so I thank those for who have. So here's what I'm going to do, Jesse. I'm going to get right into the video, um, and you can hang out in the chat. That way you can interact with people. I'm going to get right into the video, let everyone uh, see what happened. And then at the end, we're going to go. Now, Moro Police Department has actually disabled their comments. I've already tested that theory. They've disabled their comments. However, Moro City Hall has not. So at the end, we're going to redress all. At least I'm going to redress my grievances, and I invite you all to join me. So, Jesse, everyone who hasn't subscribed to him, head on over to his channel because there's a high likelihood that they will treat him this way again because he's had strange happenings since this has happened. So subscribe to him, head on over, interact with him in the chat, and we'll jump right into the video. How's that sound, Jesse? Perfect. Thanks so much, man, for coming up. I appreciate you, you, you know, and it takes a lot to come forward when you're not like really a public figure like that and explain what happened to you. So we thank you, and we're definitely gonna see what we can do to help. No, I, I wanna thank every auditor, seriously. I've learned a lot from you guys. Um, you know, I would have usually just go here, here it is, you know, believing that they would let me go, but it doesn't work that way. It really doesn't. If we don't use our rights, we would definitely use, lose them. All right, Jesse, I appreciate you coming up, man. Jesse, you'd be welcome to be in the comment section. Thanks for taking Perfect. the time to come over and chat with us. I know you got a super busy schedule, so we'll get into this video and then I'll touch, I'll check, uh, touch base with you later. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Jesse. Later, man. So Jesse's going to be in the comment section. Um, and uh, let's let's just jump right into this video, because if you haven't seen it already, put a one in the chat if you have, put a two if you haven't. Let's jump right into this. It's called uh, Morrow City Police Violated My Rights for Looking Suspicious. And this is in Clayton County, Georgia. Yeah, you didn't do, you can't, you can't pull somebody over time. I got to pull because you're the police. I didn't do anything wrong. I don't gotta give you nothing, huh? Okay. All right, have go a good day. Go. I will. I will. Okay. I ain't do anything wrong. 
You can't sit here and threaten people. You said what you said leave watch what's gonna happen. Yeah, I haven't done nothing. Okay. I need a unit out here. See what I mean? You gotta get a unit out here. Now look at this cop, guys. This is pretty dangerous because the cop says, all right, man, I'm going to need ID. You look suspicious. He says, I'm not going to give you ID. Suspicious isn't a crime. And then the cop gets on the radio and says, I'm going to need someone out here right away. I'm going to need all the backup you can send because someone didn't lick my boots clean. We have three people working. All three of them are there. Okay, I got this. I got this. Mm -hmm. These two drivers out there. For what? Because you almost hit me coming around this. No, I didn't. I didn't hit I need you. Just, I didn't hit you. I need to see your driver's license. I don't need to give you anything. So I want you guys to watch how the story changes, guys. So initially, he looks suspicious. Now they're pulling him over because Jesse almost hit the police chief who's on camera now. Then it's going to turn into Jesse was trespassing. Okay. I don't need to give you anything. No, no, no. Check him out. For what? Why are you stopping me? I'm stopping you because you're a suspicious vehicle. <laughs> Being suspicious is not a crime. And you see drugs? You can go fuck off or call call your call your supervisor here. I'm the chief of police. Oh, There's you need to no call somebody else. Where's 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 the patrol car? Oh. I need a unit here. Okay, ask them to uh, pick up the the pace. You just can't stop people and just tell them pull over. Don't you see the light? You Absolutely. can't just no. Can. You can't. Obviously, you don't understand Georgia law. No, you sir. can't. Obviously, you don't understand Georgia law. Can I see your driver's license, please, sir? I'm gonna wait for a unit to come here. Someone in the unit come. No problem. First, say hit a name. One says I'm suspicious. Hey, brother, how you doing? Hey, what's happening? Hey, not much, man. Hey, look, they're just trying to ID you, man. You got your license on here? Yeah, and I asked them why. Yeah, I mean, because this city property over here, mm -hmm. and it's not that you're necessarily doing anything wrong by driving by, but the the city management over here. They're... Look at this, guys. This is absolutely hysterical. So now we have two police officers. He's now been suspicious. He's almost hit a police chief, and... uh eventually he's going to be trespassing and now this cop is saying you're not doing anything wrong i want you to work in your mind how this conversation is even taking fucking place we need id from you we understand you didn't do anything wrong reasonable articulable suspicion even in the state of georgia a police officer needs a moving violation to pull someone over or they need reasonable articulable suspicion aside from the moving violation that this occupant or the driver of this vehicle has just engaged, is currently in the commission of, or is about to be involved in a felony, misdemeanor, city ordinance violation, moving violation. So you just can't pull someone over, demand ID, and then be pissed off when you don't get it. But this is cops doing what cops do. They're just real particular about people being in here when there's okay. no event going on. Okay. So any, any, cause there's cameras all over this property. I get it. Yeah. So anytime there's just like a random car coming through here, mm -hmm. we always respond over here just to ID whoever's. Over I here. do want to ask. So is he the chief? Is yeah, he? So okay. Chief of police. Listen to this guys and save this information for later. He says, when anyone is sitting on city property, we just like to come out and ID everybody. Like, and they're, they're explaining themselves. Like, yeah, that's no problem. If you're on city property, we just, we, you didn't do anything wrong. We just like to get some ID. And if you don't, well, we can take you to jail. He just kind of got all kind of aggressive. 
You know what I mean? All right, well, I mean, like I said, that's... And, and, and me, I want to, you know, I don't want to provide anything unless I did something wrong. Mm. And if I didn't do anything wrong, I would like to be on my way. Well, I mean, like I said, you are in a, a closed city property right okay. now. So, so you guys it, can ask not... me to leave and I can leave. Well, it's not, like I said, it's not that you necessarily did anything wrong. Then but... I would like to be on my way. Well, and, and, and the thing is, is we saw that it's uh, for lease. We came here to inquire about it being for lease, and he came out very aggressively towards us. I got you. And I got but, all on tape. But look, any, anybody that's over here when there's not an event going on, we ID who's ever over here. What law is that? We mean what law? It's not a law. So, okay. So why do I have to ID? That's my question for you. Cops like it's not a law. So you're demanding that he give you ID. You ultimately arrested him because he didn't give you ID. Uh, his charge, by the way, disorderly conduct. Let that marinate. Let it sink in. Um, disorderly conduct. I'm still pretty sure that police officers can't be a victim of that. But let's just <laughs> let's continue to watch. I mean, you had no legal reason to be here. Though. I mean, this isn't this isn't locked or closed or anything, correct? And I mean, it, it says, it's also it says posted it's for no a lease. Trespassing. Yeah, but so how does somebody come and see if the lease? And this is my question for you, because I'm more than welcome, but I want to do it that I'm doing it under threat of arrest. That's he threatened me. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm not threatening. Okay. I'm just asking. So the then ID. I would like to be on my way. I don't want to. George is not a stop in ID state, is it? Yes. If the police get out with you, you That's have to not. provide your ID. That's all. So what do we do here? So I'm gonna give you my ID under a threat of arrest, right? Because that's what's gonna yeah, happen if I don't give my ID. If I don't give my ID, that's what happens, correct? I mean, you will be identified one way or the other. Oh, so I mean, you ran my tags already, right? I didn't run your tags. Because he took a picture right of my tags. What's going on? What's Hi, I'm Major Woodall. I'm the number two of the department. Okay. How you I doing? heard you yelling back at the chief that you didn't believe he was the chief of police. I mean, he's not. In he doesn't department. have to. No policeman has to. They just have to say they're the police. Man, get the hell out of here. So get somebody says. <laughs> policeman doesn't have to identify. They don't have to show anything. They just have to say they're the police and you have to pull over. Spoiler alert. A law was enacted into, into, into Supreme Court about seven years ago uh, after someone was stopped by police. And they didn't pull over because it didn't look like a normal marked car. So they drove, they drove to the police station. And then the person was actually charged with evading a police officer. Later, that case was beat and new law was put into effect where if you get pulled over by a police officer, you have every right for your safety because they protect and serve you, not themselves, to get on the phone with 911, let them know what's going on, get directions to the nearest law enforcement agency and pull in there so that way you have have the, a right to be safer. But this is just some backwoods homegrown hick that has no idea what he's talking about. So now he tells Jesse, well, you're not complying. You're going to turn your camera off and you're going to get out of the car. He doesn't turn the camera off. Watch what happens next. So somebody just has to say they're the cop. Uh, one way or the other. Oh, so, I mean, you ran my tags already, right? I didn't run your tags. Because he took a picture right of my tags. What's going on? Hi, I'm Major Woodall. I'm the Number two of the department. Okay, how you I doing? heard you yelling back at the chief that you didn't believe he was the chief of police. I mean, he's not. In he doesn't have to. No policeman has to. They just have to say they're the police. Man, get the hell out of here! So Turn somebody says. So somebody Turn just has to say they're the cop. Turn that off and get out. Come on now. So somebody can come up and say I'm a police and I'm supposed to believe them. Turn that, get out of the car. It's crazy. Are you having problems identifying it? You have your ID on there. I do have my ID. On. Get it out. And That's I'm doing state it law. We have probable cause to arrest what you. What probable cause is that? Trespassing. I got it. Wrong again. Um, and leave it to these these um, <laughs> these cousin fuckers uh, that are, are probably only born because two cousins kissed each other, where you do not in Georgia just have to give ID, and the trespass laws are pretty clear. Um, you need to be told that you are trespassing. So if some of the space on this property in this gigantic public park, and a second ago, remember, he wasn't doing anything wrong. 
Now he is because he's not doing what they want him to do, and he's not giving up his rights. So these fuck knuckles can have that warm, cozy, violated your rights kind of feeling inside. But in Georgia, as most of the rest of the United States, but in Georgia, you have to be told you are trespassing. So if now they want to go the trespass route where you're trespassing on public property, they have to tell you to leave. An agent of the property in Georgia has to notify you that you are no longer welcome on the premises. Secondly, you have to refuse after being forbade. That is literally the legal verbiage in the law. Le refusing to leave after forbading. Okay. They never told him to leave. They told him to stay because now they want to fish for this ID. So let's continue watching. Step over here, man. Shut the fuck up. You see where I'm getting out of the gun? That's why I'm going, you bitch. Step over here, man. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. So guys, if you missed that, I played it over and over and over again. Thanks, Mad Hatter, Matt. Really appreciate that. I'll read the super chats at the end. Um, yeah, so he said, I don't consent to illegal searches and seizures. And the cop's reaction to him was, man, shut the fuck up. I'm a fuck knuckle. 40% of me and my colleagues beat our wives and our dogs. Man, shut the fuck up. That's what Morro, Georgia, Morro Police Department in Georgia says to you if you exert your rights. Man, shut the fuck up. Man, fuck your rights. You have no rights. Nice. Nice job. You see where I'm getting out of the gun? That's why I'm going your vehicle. You gonna get it? You gonna get it back? You gonna get it back? Here you go. Did, did you guys just hear that? He says, I'm an easygoing dude, and you're dealing with about 100 years of policeman experience. Both these guys are at least 50, and the kid in the back is probably 35, 40. So, like, I don't know when they, if they had time to put their cousins down and, you know, pick up a law book, but things aren't looking good. You are in violation of state law and city ordinance. Okay? I'm, I'm, that's fine with me. I'm going to decide whether to book you into the Clayton County Jail at this moment. Okay? Or let you go on a ticket. Or let you go on a verbal. What would you like? No, what would you like? Now, guys, here's the worst part of this whole thing. See that cousin kissing fuck knuckle to your far right corner? In fact, let me drag my cursor over him. He's this guy that looks like two goats filleted each other. That's the chief of police in Moro. And look at the big smile on his face. This guy's been ripped out of the car. He's been disarmed. His rights are violated because the other cop agreed he wasn't breaking the law. So because he's an American free traveling, not breaking the law, the chief of police he, he's, he's probably called his cousin and said, hey, babe, I can't get home right just yet. I'm out here just fucking with some decent working folk. And he couldn't have a bigger smile on his face. Okay, you're not giving me away. What would you like our disposition to be as police officers with your conduct and your violation of the law? Oh, I would too. I was in the middle of training. You know what else is really dangerous? This cop just said, I don't want to be here either. I was just in the middle of training. 
He has no idea what the law is, but he's training other other fuck knuckles. This is wonderful. I'm going to fast forward a little bit, guys, just because it's really tough to hear because the doors are locked. But he gets back in the car and they speak to him with the window open. Is that yours? You're being warned not to come on these premises again. This is the court copy. This is not. This copy. I got to get the court copy. <laughs> All right. I'm writing you a ticket with the least amount of fine possible, and I'm not taking you to jail on a state charge of obstruction. Okay. Okay, when blue lights come on, you have to stop and yield to them. Okay, when blue lights come on, you have to stop and yield to them. Who's your attorney? This is my favorite part of the video, guys. So he's not only instructing law to Jesse, but he's instructing law to the camera. Several times during this fuck knuckles mouth diarrhea, you'll see he can't figure out who he's talking to. I don't know if this guy's cross-eyed and he doesn't know, you know, who he's talking to and his eyes are in two separate directions, but he's going to do that a couple times during his, his cop splaining. He's going to look back and forward to the camera and it's really funny. So just enjoy this part. Go ahead. I'm Who's your attorney? Maroon sign. To them. Okay. When blue lights come on, you have to stop and yield to them. Who's your attorney? Go ahead. I'm Who's your attorney? Maroon silent to. So okay. I, I recommend Bruce Harvey. Okay. He's a really good uh, Fourth Amendment lawyer. Okay. And 
when the police give you instructions to demand your identification, you must present it in accordance with state law, especially when there's articul- uh, probable cause. But as little as as little as reasonable, articulable suspicion. So Georgia is a must present. So, so he did it again, guys. So the other girl's filming as well. So he's he's going back to Jesse. Then he's going back to Jesse's camera and then he's reaching over so he can talk to, he wants to talk to all the cameras. Now this cop is giving him advice on, on which fucking fourth amendment lawyer he should go to. This cop has no idea about the fourth amendment. So I'm probably not going to have him as a referral basis to find an attorney that might know better. Always take the advice of a police officer that arrested you as to which attorney you should go for. An ID state. Okay. Arguing with the police doesn't get you anywhere. The judge is who you argue with. Just do. And isn't that what this is all about? Arguing with the police doesn't get you anywhere. They're trying to train you. Kind of like Jesse trains his dogs. But I like dogs more than people. But this guy wants to train Jesse to be a good dog. If you wanted things to go easier, then you should have just complied with whatever we told you to do. Do what the police say on scene. I'm not taking you to jail and I'm not impounding your car. We're way, way able to do that. I'm not doing that. I'm giving you the disorderly conduct city citation with a very low fine. And if you show up and the judge and you respect the judge and you throw yourself on the mercy of the court, maybe the judge will toss it. Now let's listen to this to this again. Um, Carl, thanks so much. And absolutely, he should for you the video. I think he might actually have access to it because he was just in court. But listen to what this guy's saying. Listen, if you, you don't argue with the police. Always do what we want. And then when you go to court, you throw yourself at the mercy of the court. And you're really nice to them. And say how sorry you are. I'm so confused. The, the, the justice system is blind and the state has the burden of proof and you have a presumption of innocence. Why would you throw yourself unto the mercy of a place when you're presumed to be innocent when you enter that place? And there's no citizens around. And it is a fact that disorderly conduct is not a charge or a crime where a police officer can be a victim. It, it's, just, it's not. It, it's, it's not. Uh, so this is going to be interesting when Jesse moves this through to court and sues the ever-loving shit out of them. I wouldn't have any problem with that. I wouldn't have any objection with that. But you have to understand that you must obey law enforcement because we're a nation of laws. If you'll just sign right here, sir, your signature does not admit guilt. It only acknowledges receipt of the charge and the court date. Listed. You don't have to appear, you can pay it or you may appear. And you may require that I appear. Okay? Y'all be careful. Is it? Drop give me, safe. Give me got, sir, oh, I gave it to him. Uh, he put it in his pocket. Not that it was from no, that was my Oh, I got you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got it. I got it. I got it. And is there, if I can get ID from you guys or a business card from you, take a picture or? video. Mark Woodall, two D's oh, in Woodall. W O O D D A L L major. Okay. Get ID from you guys or a business card from you. Take a picture or... video. Mark what else? Well, Mark, you asked us to take a picture of it and to uh, and to film it. So this is Mark Woodall. His employee ID is eight two four one. His uh, D O H is eight. 24 2022 he works underneath chief mark crumpler i mean underneath on top i mean they can switch up however they want out there they're the good old boys i'd rather them be interested in each other and then their cousins or their billy goats but that's uh mark woodall of the morrow police department well two d's in woodall w-o-o-d-d-a-l-l major okay second in command okay Badge number 2602. What's your name, man? Cortez. Cortez, let me tell you something. Once this is over with, you train dogs. Once it's over with, that's why I'm going to give some advice on this. You do what you want to do. That's our chief of police. If you want to get with him, if it's okay. Once it's over with, if you want to see about bring your dog here, listen this one say, bring your dog here, training. Come to the police department and talk to him, man. Okay. You you deal with police before. 
you train dogs. We getting K nine. We got one K nine. We get another K nine. That'll help you out. Okay. Well, let's give you some. Now, now look at this guy. Did you just hear that? Now the guy's like, because they found out halfway through it who he was. They didn't give him a break. They weren't being nice, not arresting him. They realized that he trains their fucking police dogs. And they're kind of backpedaling because they know they're going to get fucked in court. But now the guy's like, listen, man, you know, um, I really got to get back to, to my cousin. She's cooking dinner tonight. But, you know, maybe if you get with the chief and you're real nice, we'll take some of your dogs. Like, this cop is a fucking tool. Uh, huh? Amanda, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. There's nothing incriminating for her to say, man. Yeah. There's nothing incriminating for you to say. I get it. I'm giving yeah, you the easiest way out in, in the world. I'm trying to make, I'm not being to make money. I'm trying to make money. You, you can, can have a relationship with the police department. Well, yeah, but the blue lights and red lights came right? It's video. It's all video. Yeah. Amanda. Yeah, but but my point is, being, we're not being ugly. Just don't you think see about that? Don't you all know right. I could take him to jail for obstruction and failure to yield? This cop's explaining to his friend that he's being nice. He's not being ugly. They just stopped him for not committing a crime ripped him out of the vehicle, detained him, got hold of his ID, they disarmed him. Uh, that That's not being nasty. If we did that to someone, it'd be called kidnapping. ...and obstruction of a, of a police officer and all that. I mean, there's like five charges that are serious misdemeanors that can be held. We're not that way. I'm not that way. Can you give a gun back? I'll be safe. Oh. Can I get a business card from you? Man, I don't have it. She has it. What's your name and number? Bart Phillips. 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 Bart I don't know who that guy is. Um, <laughs> it's absolutely uh, interesting. And, and the reason this camera wasn't in their faces, guys, is just because this guy is not an activist. He trains dogs. Some of the dogs that he trains go to the military, police departments, sheriff's departments, and this is the behavior that they exert. It doesn't take much for that blue line wall to crumble. Uh, and that's Jesse Cortez. So, you know, th th they don't want you to give your feedback at the Morrow City Police Department. They've actually shut down their reviews. However, the Morrow City Hall uh, is open for reviews. Um, and, and at least my review was still there. And I know that there was one three hours ago. So if you did want to redress your grievances, folks, um, this is it. The Morrow City Hall, 1500 Morrow Road in Morrow, Georgia. Uh, and, and you can go and, and I wrote PD is out of control. I gave them a one star. I'm a level eight Google guide. So I, I hope that really makes them shit their pants and think about their behavior. And you guys can do the same thing. Um, if you'd like to go to the Morrow City Hall review page, uh, Farlap Moves has placed it in the chat. You guys can feel free uh, and they will block your comments. You know, what's funny that the Morrow Police Department will block all of your comments, but then they'll respond to the comments. These guys are so stupid. So when you create a public record, you can't delete that public record. You have to leave it up. You can't get rid of it. But the police department, because they're looking really bad and everyone's taking all these videos and they're going to their Facebook page and they're just writing, you know, they're, they're, they're just telling these guys that they're pieces of shit over and over. Let me show you their Facebook page. This is the Morrow City Police Department Facebook page. Let's go to the most recent. Uh, that's their their the guy that kisses cousins. He might maybe allegedly. I'm not sure. Don't don't take my word for it. But let's just go to this most recent thing: Lunar New Year celebration today and tomorrow at the new at the Morrow Center. And then you go to the comment section. All of this, right? All of this. This is just today. All of this. Rogue Nation did a video on it. All of it. Like their comment section is just destroyed. 
right? So what they then in turn do is they go and they delete these comments. But what they forget to delete is their response to people's comments. So you're going to go comment, tell them what a piece of shit they are, and then they're going to respond to you. And then they're going to be like, well, I did. I go out in a day with my cousin. But I want people to think that we're bad people in the Morrow, Georgia Police Department. I'm going to delete that person's message so that way they can't see how bad we are out in the pubic, public, out in the public. But then they'll forget to delete their responses to people. <laughs> like, this is not policing. These are the dumbest fuck knuckles in America. Someone asked me where I got that. I created that. Let's go back to the Morrow City Hall uh, page and and check it out uh, and see if we have any new entries here. 3.2. Oh my goodness. They went to a 3.2. Let's see what you, the people have had to say. Uh, and guys take screenshots of what I'm showing you right now, because we want to create public records. So the moment they delete these negative reviews, no, these guys are so fucking stupid. What they'll probably do is they'll respond to your review, but then they'll delete your review, which will just leave their response because they're, they're not the sharpest tool in the shed. Let's just say that the, the talent pool, uh, the talent and intelligence and gene pool is super shallow in Morrow city hall, Georgia. Um, I'm glad Sharice use fuck knuckle as much as you like. So don't tread on me said biggest oath violators in the USA. I agree. Uh, a minute ago, Leon unlimited says police need to be recycled. Uh, handicap nude says PD is out of control. So, we're there, they're at 3.2. Let me see if there's any more at the Morrow City Hall. Oh, they're at a 3.0. Wow, that's not cool, guys. You shouldn't redress your grievances. You have to ID for no reason, and you have to be charged for a crime for no reason. You shouldn't be able to rest, address your grievances. Melissa Stebman says, what heroes you guys are. Violating a man's First and Fourth Amendment rights. Shame on all of you. Do better public servants. Feel free, guys, to also include in your reviews um, any of the video links, you know, I'm sure they would want to watch themselves. This guy likes talking to the camera so much. Uh, we should we should help them figure that out. Oh, they're at a 2.8. 2.8. Wow. So they've dropped a full point. Um, yeah, they're they're not doing so hot. And I'll just I'll just keep reviewing it. Yeah, you guys can feel free to to go ahead and leave a review there if you want. Um, but be careful because like these ones, they might delete your comments, but then respond to them. Uh, so they'll 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 respond to your comments, then they'll delete your comments so no one sees what your comment was, but then they they tag you in their response to your comments. So they're just entirely the dumbest fucking people I've ever seen ever. Like ever. And I've seen a lot of dumb people. I've met a lot of dumb people. This one this this one takes the cake. But let me go back. Let me take a look here. The Morrow City Hall. Morrow City Hall there. Uh, they're at a 2.6. I just can't understand why they keep dropping. I don't understand. Uh, Elena says, police are oath breakers, violate people's First and Fourth Amendment rights. Disgusting. Oh, I agree. Loose Arrow Outdoors says, fix your pignorant police officers. What an absolute clown show. Eric Grimes, he's also a Google guide. Uh, he says, PD is the worst, don't call. Semperate Sammy um, says the police departments need a serious overhaul. Definitely need course in the constitution on your oath. There was really a real funny one that I wanted to read you guys. Uh, and it's not this one. Oh yeah. Avoid this place at all costs. Rewrote your trip. Don't stop for gas. And if you live near here, move. <laughs> People don't like these guys. 2.6. Let's see. Uh, Oh, uh, Banana Anna, thank you. I'm trying to keep an eye on the Super Chats. If I if I missed someone, uh, I do apologize. Don't re-Super Chat. I will go back. And, of course, all Super Chats are welcome. Thank you. Uh, and posted to the top of the chat link is Jesse's Cash App and stuff. Um, so let's, uh, let's keep reading, see if we got any new ones here. 2.2. We do have some new ones. Um, they're, they're learning pretty quickly. Mark Faust says, nice job violating people's civil rights. Do better. Low Photo Art says, corrupt special, the chief of police, and then the, the second chief. Fred. Oh, hey, Fred. None of these law enforcement officers have ever heard, read the Bill of Rights or the Constitution they swore an oath to uphold and defend. Do better. Greg Collum wrote, PD or oath breakers, especially the chief and Woodall, 
with two D's because he's a double dickhead. Uh, Handicap News, you read his already. I can't believe that in the 30 seconds it took me to read that, there'd be more reviews. It is not physically possible. Let me refresh. There are more reviews. Let's continue. Um, Curse Wetzel says, you guys got to give me a chance to actually read more than one comment. Um, but what, let me scroll down. Oh, no, let me scroll down. Let me get out of here and go back. Here we go. Newest. So, oh, Scott Keller is a troll. The YouTube wannabe rating you as a clown. Uh, Scott Keller is a, is a fuck knuckle in a, in a pussy. So, uh, Curso, it doesn't matter if your rights get violated. There's blue line blowers that'll bear back every blue ball bandit just cause. Kurt Wetzel says your cops don't know trespassing or ID law. The cops think you just obey anything a cop tells you to do. Then you lie about why you stop the man in the parking lot. Bradley says PD's out of control from the top down. Fuck knuckles. Mark Faust, we saw his again. There's no way that there's new reviews in that 30 seconds either. 2.2 should still be. And we have another one from. Oh, uh, low photo art updated his. Okay. So we'll give it a second. See if any more come in. I can't stop people from redressing their grievances. 2.2. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's the behavior from these public officials. I don't like it. I don't like it, guys. I really am not a big fan of how they're behaving and how they're treating. Oh, there's another one. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I missed that one. I don't want to miss anyone. Son of Liberty says, every once in a while, I appreciate a reminder that the Second Amendment isn't for spot sporting or hunting. Thanks for reminding me. Daniel Dweck says, I recommend Leroy Truth for police chief. Oh my God, I love it. I recommend Leroy Truth for police chief. Absolutely, he'd be great for just any political office. Josh pays me more than I pay him. <laughs> so, uh, they won't show yours. Why won't they show yours? I'm trying to look at everyone's comments while I'm doing this. Let's really quickly do a feature of Jesse's channel. For those of y'all who haven't seen it, uh, you should. Let's go back real quick because I want everyone to subscribe to him. And when you get there, uh, tell him that AFA sent you. That'd be really nice if you guys could do that. Super chat, Josh, if you appreciate him like I do. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't appreciate. Don't super chat me. Don't do it. Um, let's look at jesse's page here real quick head on over subscribe to him i know a couple of other people are going to be doing videos on this um so this is jesse his video has sixteen thousand views in 11 days which is really good for a channel with only 193 subscribers um so when you go to his channel make sure you hit the subscribe button set the notification bell to always uh just like i did uh and he's got like there's not like audit videos in there like it's it's stuff him him training his dogs, but now he's getting a lot of attention and he, they're following him. They're kind of fucking with him. So make sure that you go over to his channel. He says 224 subscribers. The w video that we just watched is Morrow City Police violated my rights for looking suspicious. Um, you, you know, not for nothing, Martin Luther King Day. A late night 702 says, love you, Josh. I'm glad you're my best friend and you're doing amazing. Thank you so much. Um, you know, Martin Luther King, obviously one of the greatest activists of all time, uh, you know, said, I have a dream that one day my children will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Um, I think it's surprising uh, that this is, we're in 2023 and this shit still happens. And, you know, Jesse's Hispanic. The other cop that's there, he's black, but that's the different. He's, bl he's black and blue. You know what I mean? The blue line, it doesn't matter what color, ethnicity, or nationality you are when you wear the badge. You are then just absolute shitty towards everybody else. And, and this is something that's happening quite a bit where this poor kid, someone, and, and it's, I, I want you guys to see this. And I wanted to feature this video because he works with the police. He trains police dogs. This can happen to anybody. This can happen to you. You don't just have to be an activist. You can be anyone. And if you don't bow down, bend the knee, 
and look like the boots of these shitty cops, then that can happen to you too. Let's see if there's an update in the review page. John Duck, do we read him yet? Why is your police so corrupt and pignorant? Made me give a star to post. Hope this place gets flooded with calls. Dirty blue line gang. My job as an electrician is more dangerous than them assholes. Uh, Patrick Healy says worst police department ever. So it, it's pretty clear at this point that the, the people have spoken. Uh, oh, we're at a 2.0. We just keep dropping. We can't keep up enough. So they went from a 3.8 to a 2.0. And the only thing the bootlickers can do to defend these fuck knuckles is to try and say things like, oh, my God, these, these guys are leaving you bad reviews. Well, you know, when the police violate your rights and you send me your video, don't be surprised if I pass on it. And that's just where we're at, okay? I do know Michael Picard, the professional douche. I know of him. I've spoken to him on Facebook. I've never, like, met him or anything. Uh, there was one other thing I wanted to show you guys. Well, I have you here. Oh, yeah. So um, we're going to be doing... Oh, yes. Don't stay right there. Don't move. Don't friggin' move. Stay in your seat. Oh, my God. How did I forget about this? Guys, I wasn't able to tell you about this yesterday um, because we were doing a couple different things. So stay right there. I was telling you yesterday about the law they're trying to create uh, to keep people from filming. Take a look at this. Uh, right after it ended, Fox News... Uh, message me the link to this video. So, you know, and kudos to the mainstream media for okay, actually this, for actually doing um, a good job at not portraying it one way over the other and, and being fair in his assessment. This is Matt Karen of Fox 61. So let's, uh, let's watch the video and we'll get your feedback afterwards. The first time I've been able to show it to you. Well, Connecticut is, of course, called the Constitution State, and this is an issue that's fundamental to our very democracy. The First Amendment of the Constitution, freedom of speech and freedom of the press. Shortly before Christmas, a team of First Amendment auditors entered the Ridgefield Town Hall with their cameras and started interacting with government officials. Can you please shut that off? No, no it's silly. What do you mean, no? Get out of here. Ridgefield public employee Patricia Pacheco eventually hit the panic button under her desk as the interaction between Pacheco and auditor Josh Abrams escalated. Oh, ma'am, it's not going to be good. Don't do that. You're going to look very... Oh, All right, ma'am. All right. You're going to have to call someone now. Unfortunately, she's in trouble. Ridgefield police responded and charged Pacheco with disorderly conduct. We go in and we, we want to flex our rights and stress test the Constitution. But State Representative Pat Callahan is looking into crafting state law to limit auditor access. He told Fox 61 he believes there's an ulterior motive. Let's not even call them First Amendment people. What they're doing is trying to start a fight. If they were really interested in information, they certainly could pick up the phone and make an appointment with any of the departments at these town halls that they're trying to visit and not come in and put their phone you know, an inch from your nose and try and, and, try and provoke you. But Abrams, who runs a YouTube channel called Accountability for All, told Fox 61 that while he does make money off the clicks, it's about the education. It is a balance, but I can tell you one thing that myself or many of the other large channels that do what I do, they never sacrifice the integrity of this movement um, for clicks and views. Abrams responded to the idea of a state law putting rules on the Constitution. It's a very dangerous precipice when the government has the ability to be the arbiter of who can and cannot exercise their rights. During many of these encounters, police are called. It's really mutual respect. If you show up and give anybody you're dealing with the respect that they deserve, you're going to get it back. Ridgefield police told us they conduct internal training on First Amendment rights. We advise the public and all the other town agencies to do the same internally is to educate their employees on First Amendment rights because we know they could show up any day at any time. Ridgefield police tell us these auditors know to stick to the public areas. As for that public employee, she was given the chance to apologize and avoid a charge. She refused, but her disorderly conduct charge was eventually dropped. Callahan admitted it's difficult to be able to craft a law that would still be in line with the Constitution, while Abrams told Fox 61 that if this does become a law, it would be, quote, as good as the paper it's written on. 
Reporting in Ridgefield, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News. I was very surprised. Excellent reporting um, by Matt Karen. And you see that the state representative uh, is, is a total fuck knuckle. And uh, he's like, oh, you know, they're going to bring a camera an inch away from your nose. We were actually about seven feet from her when she decided to come within an inch of my face and strike me uh, with something. So they can spin it whatever they way they want. Um, but it just, uh, proof is in the pudding. Matt Karen, Fox 61. Excellent job. I was so blown away that mainstream media got it right once, maybe twice. Good job, Matt. Uh, we appreciate you, bud. Um, and, you know, it, it takes this type of discourse to be open to having these types of conversations because, you know, restricting the First Amendment affects me the same way it would affect mainstream media. Maybe not because they get let into a lot more places. But you like this, guys? You got to make it, you got to have an appointment to exert your First Amendment right. No, Chester County News really appreciate that. You got to make an appointment to exert your First Amendment right. That sounds absolutely fucking ridiculous to me. Uh, and then even this guy. Now, this law wouldn't even be a bill that they would talk about passing until the until 2024. But even this guy was like, yeah, you know, it's going to be really difficult to make this law and have it fall in line with the Constitution. So we got to figure out, like, the best way to do it. If you're an elected official in the House of Representatives and you swore an oath to defend this Constitution from all enemies foreign and domestic, and you're at a precipice where you're saying, oh, the law I want to pass, we can't pass it because it's it's not in line with the constitution. It's constipation. But I'm like, maybe that you should just quit while you're fucking behind or have not started that race at all. Uh, I'm going to read some super chats, but before I leave, I want to see where the reviews are at. I want to see, I want to see where the reviews are at. My buddy Fred Zeifel's in chat now. I want to see what the reviews are at. 1.9. 1.9. Jazz Wolf says, Google won't let me give you zero stars. Yes, man, for a buck. Carl Saltzman, you guys should hire Tennessee ex-cop Megan Hall if the cops want to screw people. Plus, she will keep all the cops happy. <laughs> uh, Silvio Golden says, clowns. And then we have uh, Scott Keller. This is a fuck knuckle. He lives in, I think he lives in Friendship, Maine. With Bubba. I think it's, it's really like, I'm not even joking. I think that's where, where he lives. Let's read some super chats. If you guys have anything that you'd like to say, please go ahead and feel free to drop a super chat. It's always appreciated. Mad Hatter Matt says, hey, Josh, keep exposing these corrupt fuck knuckles. Thanks, man. Carl Stutzman for $4.99, who just left a great review, by the way. Please FOIA the police potty cam. Uh, I believe he already has it, so we'll see if we can get a copy of it. Hey, Tom Roberson. Great to see you, brother. I hope you're having a great new year. Hello uh, to the members. Farlap, George Daly, Heather Halt, Indiana Auditor, Canada is watching. What's up, bro? Banana Anner, Phyllis Peterson. Got a lot of members in the chat tonight. Appreciate you guys being here, man. Thanks so much for coming, dropping by to hang out with us and, and watch this video. As if it's your business. Uh, anybody gets... Anybody goes tomorrow, let me know. It's 20 minutes from me. If we ain't afraid to wade through 20 cops. That's a great idea. You should do it as if. Um, Extreme Super Jason says, I hope you get to the town council on February 6th. We absolutely plan to. North, uh, I should be back by then. North Chester County News for $1.99 super sticker. Perfect. Thank you. Really appreciate that, man. Banana Ranner. Thanks for what you do. Slippery banana. Banana Rana from 199. Josh pays me more than I pay him. I didn't get a paycheck from you. Banana Rana said, Super Chat Josh, if you appreciate him and like what he does. Oh, Daniel, so much. Thank you for your service. AFA crew, Canada is watching. That's something else we're going to go over in a second. So I appreciate that, Daniel. Don't go anywhere. North Chester County News, $1.99 super sticker. Thank you. As if your business. Um, if anyone does, let us, as, as if your business know, because that'd be a great audit. Maybe you can walk Jesse through it. Uh, North Chester again for Don Nine Super Sticker. And Daniel, um, thank you for your service. AFA Crew Canada is watching. Uh, we appreciate it. A lot of folks watching us from Canada. I would like to show you guys real quick, just right quick. 
Just want to show you real quick. Um, I'm trying to talk like the ones that kiss their cousins over in Morrow, Georgia. If you guys have not, you should, because when I'm auditing and I'm out doing work in the field, I do two things. I have a rig that holds my phone uh, that's filming static, and then I have a rig that goes live. Uh, so if you guys don't want to wait to see all the stuff come up now, uh, you know, wait a couple days to see everything drop, head on over to the AFA crew uh, and, and give a subscribe there. Because as you'll see, uh, and there's a lot of funny stuff too, but there's a lot of audits on there, man. A lot of stuff that you guys are missing. Um, just a, a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. We get some big shorts in there too, guys. Um, you know, I think we have a short with, Heather Holtz, a member for three months. Awesome interview. Thanks so much. Jesse's awesome. And that, that interview is awesome as well. But yeah, like 60,000 views, um, 900. No, that was 999. There's one on here that's got like a million. This one, 1. 1.5 million. Uh, a lot of stuff that you won't see on my main channel is over there for you guys to watch. Some funny stuff too. We, we don't like to take ourselves too seriously. Canada is watching. Um, thanks so much. Support the AFA crew. That's fucking awesome of you, man. Um, Farlap Moves, he's been a member for six months. Yeah, baby. Keep the awesome work going, Josh. Uh, and I just want to let you... Oh, as if your business gifted five accountability for all memberships. As if your business, you are an absolute tyrant. Absolute fuck knuckle, sir. Scott says, figure you won't do a live with me because you're a coward. Scott, I go live all the time. Just find me. Just find me. And he's going to be like, hey, you go. oh, no. That's that's normally what happens. A lot of people like talk shit, right? And then they're like, oh, no, like he fights back. And now what do I do? Um, just kiss your cousin. Move move tomorrow, Georgia, Scott. Let me check these reviews real quick. Now they're still at a 1.9, it looks like. Jody's been a member for one month. She says, so proud of all you do for the people. Morrow PD now at a 1.0. I don't see 1.0. But Scott, uh, but um, Fred Zeifel's been a member forever. Fred, email me. Email me. The AFA crew at gmail.com. Email me. Do it, man. I've been trying to send you a shirt for like months, bro. <sighs> firm. What's up, Firm? Not just the kind of news. Another dollar 99 super sticker. Really appreciate it. Uh, firm Audits is a, a good buddy of ours. So, anyways. That's the dilly. Um, AFA is is taken off. AFA is 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 done with the New England tyrants uh, for right the second because I have to get on an aeroplane and fly to an undisclosed location to find fuck knuckles engaging in the art of fuck knucklery. I'm sure you didn't know what that was. Um, fuck knuckles. They're just not people. They engage in the, oh, Doug's Photography, welcome to being a member. Uh, fuck Knuckles engage in the high art of fuck knucklery. That's what they do. They like to be fuck knuckles. So we got that coming. Um, I was on the phone with Freeman today. He's an absolutely terrible person. In fact, let me call him right now and see if he answers. Because uh, we got something coming with him as well, too. So let's call Freeman and see if this uh, douche nozzle answers the phone. See if Freeman answers. <sighs> Fucking Freeman. 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 Message. He'll, I'm not leaving a message for you, James. James is a bitch. Straight bitch. All right, guys. Anyways, you know, we'll leave him a voice message, actually. Leave him a voice message. I think it's a cool feature on my phone. Hey, James Freeman. I uh, just wanted to say that you're a fuck, piece of shit, loser. Uh, your breath smells like warm, crusty, goat cheese-ridden testicles. 
and me and my live audience at this exact moment uh, wish you nothing but poison ivy on your butthole. Send that. Let's see how it sounded. Oh, I got to turn the volume up. I just wanted to say that you're a fuck, piece of shit, loser. Uh, your breath smells like warm, crusty, goat cheese-ridden testicles. And me and my live audience at this exact moment uh, wish you nothing but poison ivy on your butthole. I don't think that could be. I think I don't think that could have went any better. All right, guys. Uh, also, by the way, subscribe to Banana Runner. We really appreciate you guys. Listen, I'm going to end this thing now, but if you want people to subscribe to you, just type a one in the chat, and uh, you guys can subscribe to each other. I don't think there's any new reviews. They're still at a 1.9. They'll delete it, and we'll have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Anyways, guys, really appreciate you all being here. Um, I want to say one more thing to James. James. I'd like to tell you that I think you are an ugly piece of shit. Um, and I'm not saying that because I'm live right now streaming everything that I'm saying to you. I'm just at home with just a few friends, just a few of them. And we all think that your, your breath uh, smells of police officers, a penis, much like the, the officer uh, that was fired recently, whom you make all the memes of. But I did want to thank you for your service at Sucking Out Loud, and we really love you so much. Do not call me back because I'm not live right now, okay? Um, and we will talk again soon. I love you, sugar tits. Okay, make sure that went through. James, I'd like to tell you that I think you are an ugly went through youtube turns thank you so much for a ten dollar super sticker really appreciate you guys um you guys should hear some of the conversations uh james freeman and i have on the telephone oh uh very easy because that that lady cop told us all about it haven't you seen the memes she's uh she's great at what she does uh yeah guys you want to help out jesse cortez he appreciates it we all appreciate it thanks so much for joining us we will catch you on the next one gonna be on that plane pretty soon flying to see the fuck knuckles engaging in fuck knucklery in the land of fuck fuck we'll catch you on the next one guys and don't forget that's the reason i stopped you today